Hey, this is Andy, and welcome to the latest edition of Rhapsody Features You May Have Missed, a series of very short videos demonstrating some of the capabilities of Rhapsody that may have escaped from notice. Today, we'll be talking about Rhapsody 8.1 Port Wizards. Ports and interfaces in SysML 1.2 were not the easiest things to understand, let alone model. It was all too easy to get it wrong, and so we used automation to minimise the possibility of user error. If you're building Harmony models, then the Systems Engineering Toolkit generates them automatically from sequence diagrams. SysML 1.3 introduced a new kind of port, a proxy port, and this demonstration will introduce some new automation included out of the box with the Rhapsody 8.1 SysML profile that makes creation of these kind of ports much more easy. Let's start with a simple example. Here we have a GPS that has an attribute and an operation. Then we have a sat-nav which has the same attribute and operation. But note that the operation is a directed feature. The sat-nav is expecting someone else to provide this service. The key point here is that the mapping is going to be implicit. The operations and attributes have the same names, arguments, types and so on in both blocks. If we want to expose those elements in a proxy port, we need to create an interface with either directed features or flow attributes. And this can be done very simply using this wizard. SysML create or update a proxy port. If we invoke that wizard, it pops up a little dialog, allowing me to set the name of the port, the name of the interface and the multiplicity of the port. It also allows me to define which features of the block I want exposed. Attributes can be either flow attributes in the port or directed features. We'll choose out, which will make that one a flow attribute. Operations can only be directed features. For that one, we'll choose provided. That's it. The port and interface have both been created. Now I can simply copy that new port onto the sat-nav. I'll conjugate it to reverse its direction and then I can connect the two together. The automation can even create information flows from the items in the ports using this wizard, create or update direction flows. Next, let's look at something more complex. Here again we have a GPS and a sat-nav, but this time the names of the attributes are different. We have a location in the GPS and a position in the sat-nav. And so we need to provide an explicit binding for these features in any interfaces we create. Fortunately, that can all be automated by Rhapsody. Let's draw a connection and then we'll invoke this wizard. Elaborate connector via ports. Again, we get a dialogue, but this one is multi-paged. The first page is dealing with the GPS end of that connector. Just as before, I can change the names of the port and interface and multiplicity, and I can select which features to expose. When I click Next, I can see the sat-nav end of the connector. Here again we choose names and features to expose, but the key point here is that the interface has to be a different one than at the GPS end, because we effectively have different features. The last page allows us to provide the mapping between those different features. We want to map the location in the GPS to the position in the sat-nav. We can even get the binding shown graphically by ticking this box. That's it. The wizard has created the ports, the interfaces, and even moved the connector so it connects the two new ports together. The interfaces have an association between them, and if we view that in the browser, we can see the mapping graphically on an automatically generated internal block diagram. There's even a mapping table created if we want to view the information that way. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series covering other Rhapsody features you may have missed.